What's up, guys? It's Chucky Green. Always back telling you more about superhero stuff. Pretty big news today. If you have ever seen the movie Chronicle, you know who Steve is. Rest in peace, Steve. We love you. Hope you make it back. He ain't coming back. Steve, Michael B. Jordan, as his actual name is, could become the new Human Torch in the Fantastic Four remake. I think this is awesome for at least three good reasons. And I'm going to tell it to you right here on the Chucky Green channel. For number one, Steve already pretty much showed that he's a pretty awesome flyer. Michael B. Jordan was also in Red Tails, I believe, if you didn't see that, to Steve D. Airman. Very important people. Keep it black. Uh, he flew in a plane, but still, he was pretty heroic in the sky. He looked good. And cloud and stuff, that drop. Chronicle, he flew again. He made it look so much fun and just awesome. So, if he plays the Human Torch, I, I'd really love to see that. Just him flying around, doing whatever it is he wants to do. Who wouldn't want to be on fire and flying around? I do. I want to. Please. Today. No, oh, flame on. Did it work? No. Uh, second, this is pretty important. He could start a whole revolution of putting black people in Marvel movies. Cause, all right, let's make a list of all the black people in Marvel movies. Let's go. <gasps> Samuel Jackson. Lonely. 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 Only one. I am so lonely. Good song. <laughs> but there really aren't. Everyone's been pushing, 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 pushing for another black character. We might get uh, Morris Chestnut to be playing Black Panther. I don't know. I know him too much from Medea movies and all those where you playing like some black guys. I don't know. You, we should probably find a better Tanjala. Uh, third, if... They made Johnny Storm black. They might make Susan Storm black, his sister, the Invisible Woman. So, if she's black and Reed Richard is still like an Invisible Woman, that could be the first ever interracial Marvel relationship ever. Because everybody dating white girls. Everybody. Even Hulk. Hulk got himself a white girl. Thor got himself a white girl. Cap had a white girl. Mm, she dead now. Um, you know. Star Johansson, the white girl. It don't matter. But, but besides the point. Everybody getting white people. Maybe Mr. Fantastic. You know, stretch on in here. Get himself some black women. That's what I'm talking about. Just boom, ba dum dum. Beat old booties. Mm. I don't know. That's what I want to see. So, that's about it for this video. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into next week. I'm probably going to be talking about the Morris Chestnut thing. Just because I brought it up. How he could play Black Panther. Hopefully I make a video about some of the rumors I'm hearing about Man of Steel. Might be some bonus characters in there. Maybe a na -na 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 Batman reference. I'm open. I'm pushing for it. So, for this week, this has been Chucky Green's video. Of just superhero nonsense. Just keeping you up to date. And try to think of a cool. If you're listening to this. Try to think of a cool catchphrase. So we had Donald for Spider-Man. And that rolled off a ton. I'm thinking like. Jordan for Human Torch. That doesn't rhyme. Jordan for Torch. Or. Blame on Jordan. Oh, wait. That's not gay. Hold up. Let me think of one. When I think of one. You think of one. And we put it in the comments. Alright. Ready. Set. Go. Do it now. Go.